Your next status update might never pass your lips or fingertips. It could spark straight from your neurons to the web in less time than a blink. Welcome to the frontier where silicon meets synapse. Right now, fewer than two dozen people on Earth have fully implanted brain-computer interfaces, but their results are headline-making. A paralyzed participant at Stanford used tiny Utah arrays to type 90 characters per minute just by imagining handwriting, while Neuralink's first human trial streamed 1,024 channels of neural data to a phone-sized pack without a cable in sight. The tech is still rare, yet it's proven the once impossible, direct, high-speed conversation between mind and machine. Early arrays looked like bed-of-nails science projects. New materials, graphene ribbons thinner than a red blood cell, and neurothreads as flexible as cooked noodles, slide into tissue with almost no immune reaction. Precision Neuroscience's Layer 7 interface unfurls like cling film over the cortex, recording tens of thousands of signals while letting neurons breathe. Smaller, softer, smarter hardware solves the first big hurdle, surviving long-term in the brain without scarring it. What if you never need surgery at all? Magnetoelectric nanoparticles promise to translate thought to Bluetooth from outside blood vessels, while ultrasound arrays focus acoustic beams to listen for neural whispers. Companies like Cognition are already shipping bone-conducting headsets that read EEG plus facial EMG, letting non-speaking users craft sentences at conversational speed. No scalpel, just a headset that looks like gaming gear. Recording signals is half the puzzle. Understanding their meaning is tougher. Transformer models trained on millions of synthetic spike patterns now decode whole words from motor cortex data with 95% accuracy. Think coffee, and a virtual barista can pop up your regular order. The more subjects train these models, the better they generalize, meaning your future neural keyboard might work out of the box, no marathon calibration required. A device that reads intention could, unchecked, rewrite privacy itself. Bioethicists push for neuro rights that treat mental data like genetic information, yours alone to trade. Chile already amended its constitution to protect neural privacy, and the EU's AI Act carves out strict rules for brain signal analytics. Companies are responding with on-chip encryption and consent firewalls that shred raw data once text or cursor movement is produced. Cloud GPUs crunch signals in milliseconds but your perception notices delays above 80 milliseconds. That's why Neuralink's wireless link shoots for sub-30 millisecond round trips, and why edge compute chips the size of rice grains are being glued onto electrode ribbons. In 2025, experiments beamed decoded handwriting to OpenAI's GPT models in real time, letting a participant draft an email by pure thought and watch the AI autocomplete it before their next neuronic burst. Expect medical rollouts first, Spinal cord injury patients controlling robotic arms, or aphasia survivors regaining fluent speech. But as prices fall, Neuralink targets under $10,000 fully implanted. Early adopters will be gamers, traders, even musicians layering synth tracks straight from imagination. Analysts peg the total addressable market at $200 billion by 2032, bigger than today's entire AR-slash-VR sector. The question morphs from, will it happen? to how fast can society adapt. Neural interfaces are sprinting from sci-fi to store shelf, compressing decades of progress into single-digit years. The first wave restores lost abilities. The next could amplify everyone's. Our challenge isn't inventing the tech anymore, it's deciding how much of our mind we're willing to share. If tapping into your brain blew your mind, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss the moment thoughts go truly viral.